This PC here is a little HP small form factor PC that I picked up in a used parts hunt a few months ago on the channel. Now, when I went to put in a low profile 750 Ti, it did boot, but it just froze completely. So with this PC in general, and I tried a few different things. I tried uh, different tricks when you boot it up. I tried hitting all the key combinations when booting it up. I tried updating the BIOS, and that still didn't work with the 750 Ti. So today I'm going to go out and get a GT 1030, put it in this rig and see if it'll work absolutely okay. Because uh, what people say is that these motherboards just don't have the uh, power limit to support one of these graphics cards. So that could be the problem. I mean, it could be the 750 Ti itself. I don't have another 750 Ti on hand to test, but I just know one thing, this one just doesn't work at all. So uh, it might even be dead now. So that, that, that might even be a problem that happened uh, just when I was, I don't even know why that would die. But, but anyway, the GT 1030 is a really inexpensive graphics card. You can pick one of these up in Australia, brand new for $88. Uh, so that'd be like 60 something USD, extremely cheap. Of course, it's not gonna perform anywhere as good as even a GTX 1050 or a 1050 Ti, but it is a good little fix for a gaming PC that could play the titles like CSGO, for example, Dota 2, League of Legends. And of course it won't break the bank. But anyway, the biggest benefit of the GT 1030, as I said before, is that it'll actually work in PCs, or hopefully I've got to test it still, in PCs like these that don't support the 75 watt higher power consumption cards. So hopefully this little 30 watt card does work miracles on this PC. And if it does, we're gonna go test it out in a few games as well. This world is room for everyone, and the good earth is rich. And we just got back and now we've got two GT 1030 sitting on the table here and you guys are probably like damn why is Brian getting two of these things well the reason is I'm going to be putting one in this HP machine the Core i5 2400 machine but I'm also going to be putting this little one here in my uh, mobile editing rig and I want to do some tests with that that'll probably be a separate video but we can see here this one's so tiny so we install a little low profile bracket on it and it'll fit into the little in-win chopping. So when it comes to this one and the size, you know, I'm happy with my size. So security is people when they buy computers, generally bigger is better. So this is why I got this one, even though it's a little bit more expensive, it's such a bigger heat sink. It's like, damn, look at the size of that thing. And so that's what people see when you put that inside, it's got this big chunky graphics card in. So the person's gonna think, oh wow, this computer is going to be awesome. So when I go to sell this thing, it's going to sell better and it's also going to have a satisfied customer or a much more satisfied customer when they see a bigger looking graphics card. Even though they perform pretty much identical, it's just going to go uh, a lot better in this day and age when you're trying to hustle and sell parts. As opposed to this, if they saw this in there, they'd be like, damn, is that thing even going to be able to run games, man? So that's kind of like the reaction that you don't want. So you get the bigger one. So this one right here, we got the low profile bracket on, but the problem is it's even smaller than low profile. So uh, it just won't fit at all. Uh, and I'm not gonna hack that up, seriously. Like if I hack that up, that's going to have to uh, bash this power supply in because it doesn't even fit uh, vertically either. So it's, <laughs> it's really small. Like Inwin made this super tiny and super small. I mean, maybe in a revision of the case, if they just made this a little bit lower, and able to fit one of these in, it'd be really good. But besides that, there's nothing much I can do there. I'm really just dependent upon the HD graphics on the CPU and yeah, this one here. So that's just now a spare GT 1030 lying around, but let's try and boot this thing up and see if we can play some games on it. So now we've installed the uh, graphics card. We've actually tried the other one too, and we've got Basically no signal once the drive is installed and it's working properly. And the funny thing is it's not working properly. So what this means is the basic display adapter works. However, once it uh, enables the driver and I guess it utilizes all the VRAM, it cuts out, which means it's definitely the PCIe uh, power delivery. So it is a limit implemented by HP on this motherboard. 
and it means that we can't get over that. So we're gonna, instead of trying to get over it, we're gonna try and get around it. So we're actually gonna use uh, one of these things for cryptocurrency miners, a riser. And since it's got its own separate power supply, it may be just able to power this graphics card without any problem. So we'll see if that works. Uh, if it doesn't, then man, I'm just, uh, this is one of the worst days ever. I've got a two, I went out and bought two GT 1030s and they both don't work on the applications, but let's give this a try anyway, last chance. So anyway guys, I'm just so tired. I tried going down this whole custom BIOS route and tried really everything. I've spent hours on this thing. Uh, Pavel over at uh, Video Testy as well, he gave me the custom BIOS, modded it. We extracted the files in WinZip to try and replace the BIOS. We tried to force flash it in DOS, tried to do it in Windows multiple different times, multiple different settings. This was just locked down, like HP locked down the BIOS force flashes so hard. And that's something that only they could really do. They could only change the settings and then implement their own custom BIOS update themselves and release it out uh, to the public. So I give up, I'm, I'm over it. I can't get this thing to work. I can get it to work. It's just that it works on a basic display adapter. And then when it changes over to its um, normal driver, it then stops working. So it uh, doesn't matter what graphics card you put on this thing, it's just not going to work. But however, I want to try and do something to get a little compact PC like this working because we've got a hard drive, we've got the cooler, we've got the memory, we've got the power supply, we've got the case, and it is a little sleeper if it does have this GT1030 in. So we're gonna try and replace an older motherboard. And first, before we do that, we're gonna make sure that the graphics card works with it and it boots the windows and then see if we can put it in this case and get it working and see if we can make a pc out of nothing and then we can keep the i5 2400 for a later date and we're going to chuck this motherboard out i i'm over it i hate this motherboard <laughs> hate it Nothing, nothing, nothing. We're just not getting any signal out of this PC as well. And I'm getting so frustrated. So I'm gonna keep these GT 1030s. I'm just gonna pull off the CPU, take the RAM out and just chuck these HPs in the bin and forget they ever existed at this place. Just a, a bad memory. So basically there it is. I haven't failed this hard in a long time. And I mean, it's not my fault. I gave it everything I could. I tried different graphics cards. I tried the low powered ones. And we almost got it working, but of course there's just a security check on that HP BIOS that really doesn't allow the graphics card to work properly. I mean, I've got no idea why they're doing that. Um, I don't even think it's a legacy ROM because we did get into Windows. We did make it into Windows with the GT1030 as opposed to the other one, the uh, 70 Ti, which didn't even make it into Windows. I just froze at the boot screen. So that was probably another problem. But yeah, basically, I mean, uh, anyway, I just, Sometimes you just gotta be real careful which OEMs you get. This HP SF3300, it's, uh, it's the Pro Series or something. So I'm guessing you stay away from the business ones, the Pro Series, I'm guessing they have the protection as well. <laughs> Pro stands for protection. And yeah, you just can't get a graphics card to work in these things properly. So you gotta use the onboard HD graphics and you probably hear by the sound of my voice, I'm just over it, I'm so over it. Anyway guys, Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below if there's anything that you would do to this HP machine to get it working. Um, I'm Obviously, I'm not trying anything else. I've tried so much. I'm not trying anymore. It's going in the bin. I'm, I'm over it. We're gonna use that i5-2400 in a later date, in a later build, but I'm just completely over it. So I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. So this is a two iron and this is a driving iron. They're kind of rare, so really rare. So I picked these up for five Australian dollars a pop. So at least that's gonna kind of calm my nerves down a little bit. 
That's what you get for being optimistic. Two GT 1030s that you never wanted.